Hello again, my name is Anthony Perez. I'm a personal injury attorney here at Averick Law Firm. Today I just wanted to go over our accident checklist that we give to all of our clients so they can keep it in their glove box and they know exactly what to do in case you get into an accident. First thing you want to do if you're ever in, in an auto accident is, is to assess your physical situation. If you're injured, make sure you call the police, make sure the police officers come to the scene of the accident so they can take a report. Assuming you are well enough to move about the vehicle, exit the vehicle and try to make contact with the other drivers. Get as much information as possible. Um, the second number we have here is get the contact information. Preferably get pictures of driver's license, pictures of insurance cards that will be helpful later, later on to file the insurance claim. Uh, number three I have, get as much information as possible from every driver involved. Um, this is especially important if the police do not come. Um, you want to get the colors of the vehicles, the license plates, take pictures, um, as much information about how the accident occurred and uh, what the vehicles look like. The next one I have here is get the contact information of any witnesses. Uh, people will generally uh, huddle around when accidents happen. Witnesses that have seen the accident usually want to tell their side of the story. You're going to want to talk to those people, get their contact information, get their names, get their phone numbers. Uh, those statements may be imperative later on. Number five I have here is take pictures. Um, if you have our Averick app, you can actually take pictures right through our portal and send them right to our firm. But you'll want to take pictures of all of the property damage from the vehicle. Um, any injury photos as well, if you're, if you're bleeding, if you have any cuts, scrapes, bruising um, from the seatbelt, you'll want to take those photos and make sure to keep them. Um, another important photo that people often forget is just your odometer, uh, maybe the time of day, if you have a, a location, if you can do a, a scene of the accident, maybe an intersection. As much pictures um, as possible will definitely help in the case. A couple things not to ever do. Um, don't ever admit to any degree of fault in the accident. You want to be honest with the police, but you, um, you just want to tell them how it occurred, okay? Don't guess. Don't, if they say how fast you were going, you really weren't sure, don't try to guess. Another thing we don't ever want you to say is that you were not injured if you were physically injured. Many people um, go and get into an accident and the pure shock value of the accident, their adrenaline's pumping, they may not feel injury, injuries at the moment. But you never want to say that you're not injured. Uh, you always want to say that you're going to go get checked out by your doctor just to make sure. Okay. The next thing you want to do, I have number eight here, is seek medical treatment. If you are injured, it's important that you get the care that you need. Um, if you physically can't move out of the car, wait for person, uh, emergency personnel to come. An ambulance may come and take you to the hospital. Otherwise, make sure you go to urgent care, follow up with your primary right away. The most important thing is your health and you want to communicate all of your injuries to the doctors when you go see a doctor. Many people focus on a very specific injury. For instance, in a, a rear-end accident, somebody may uh, have a lot of neck pain and the only thing that they're focused on right now is that neck pain. But they might, so, might have also hit their head in, uh, on the car seat. Uh, many people in a, in a rear-end accident will get choked up with their seatbelt and slam their head on the back of the headrest. You want to make sure you report that to your doctor. It's very possible you suffered a closed head injury and didn't even know it. Uh, number nine would be to, to file a claim with your insurance company. Um, when you're doing so, give as little information as possible. They only need basic index information to open these claims. It's not your time to tell your, your side of the story or how the accident uh, may have occurred. Number 10 is don't, uh, don't agree to give a written or recorded statement with the insurance company without speaking to an attorney first. Um, it's very important that if you're injured, you do speak with an attorney. Honestly, before you do any of these things, the very first thing you should do is speak with a, personal, a, pers uh, a professional personal injury attorney uh, who has experience in this area so they can guide and coach you through this difficult process. Do not try to handle a personal injury claim on your own. I have here finally most important contact a personal injury uh, attorney in your area so they can help you through this process. It's complicated, it's difficult, insurance companies really do not have your best interest at heart, but personal injury attorneys um, will fight for you. Uh, many work on a contingency fee basis where you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. It's important to have assistance in this difficult process. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me at Abrick Law Firm. My phone number is 949-313-3552. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have, uh, whether you're a potential client or not. Thank you.